Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily reading, your daily tarot reading with Hem from the Self Love Self Care System. I'm doing our daily reading for Monday the 12th of August. So happy Monday. I'm doing our readings from the Royal Tarot deck and I don't know who they're by because no, because because I'm the kind of girl that finds tarot decks in her drawer and doesn't know where they come from. So these are the ones that I'm using. It's a funny story. I, I just was searching around for a crystal and it was a particular crystal I used. I can't remember which one it was now. And instead I found these and I was like, oh, I'm going to use them in my videos for YouTube. So right, without further ado, let's get our cards for the day. So we get an energy of the day card. If it will come. Angels, thank you. And we get a problem if there is one. There isn't always a problem. Sometimes there is, but there isn't always a problem and a solution. When I say it though, I think it's going to be a problem now I've said it. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Let's have a look. So the energy of today for Monday the 12th of August is... Oh, interesting. Oh, it really is interesting actually. So we've got a major arcana card, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, but we've also got the Five of Swords. Now, it's interesting because you know what the Wheel of Fortune is. Um, even if you don't do tarot, you probably know this is uh, the Wheel of Fortune goes up and down and we can have opportunity, but we could actually have no opportunity, that kind of thing, right? But what's really interesting here is that an opportunity is coming because it's on the five, but there's conflict around the opportunity. And I, I feel, as I look at this, that what's going on? Oh, look, we've actually got the card that's on the box. I love that. I love that when you get the card that's on the box. So when I put it there, it will look like the box. Sorry, I'm being weird. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> okay, so angels, what are we saying to this card for the energy of the day? Ah, I like it. They want you to know today, on Monday the 12th of August, that you make your future. You can go up on the wheel or you can go down on the wheel. Which one are you choosing? And they're saying to me that this conflict card here, this conflicted five of swords, is conflicted because you want to fight your way to the goods so to speak does that make sense so it's like the opportunity is being offered to you okay and you're seeing this opportunity and instead of wanting to go smoothly and in flow and divine order you want to create hiatus and difficulty around it so you can say you struggle to get there now the gods and the angels are laughing at this because they're saying why why do you want to make this tricky now it sounds a bit problematic so i want to ask them why we've got a problem in the energy space i know they're saying it's not a problem unless they see it that way and they're saying the wheel of fortune is always going upwards and round upwards and round and yes it can go back however it only goes back if we deem it so so it's about your reactions actions and the way you're dealing with things but opportunity and transmutation is coming for you. It's just whether you want to take it. And the other thing that they're saying is that, <laughs> I won't stop. Look, so now we've got the box. <laughs> the other thing they're saying is that you are in a space where opportunity wants to show itself to you. And the reason they're showing the wheel, and we had this about a week ago, didn't we, the week before? I think it was a week ago. The reason they're showing you the wheel is because they want you to remember that you are moving towards something and to give yourself that opportunity as opposed to seeing it possibly as a problem. It is quite interesting because how they're showing it to me is like, you've got an opportunity that you are struggling to see as an opportunity. Does that make sense? Hope so. Let's see if there's a problem. Oh, I breathe a sigh of relief. No, no problem. Ten of Pentacles, good, 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 new beginning monetarily. Now, last week you had this card too. The angels are telling me to say to you, you are in a really good space at the moment. Your energy, your vibe, your connection to life, to Gaia, to consciousness, to the earth, energy in its whole is very, very good. And the reason they're saying this is because they're giving you the ten to show you an old cycle monetarily is over and a new one is about to begin. Now, for some of you, you're about to do something where you're going to pay for that. Maybe you've got to come on my 
my chakra course. If you're interested, check out my website for it. It's www.selfloveselfcaresystem.com. Go to work with me and the 12 chakra course is there. Have a look at that. Because what they're saying is it's going to bring you a new beginning monetarily, whatever it is you do, not necessarily in my course, but because that's, I can't, I can't say that. That may not be the case. However, and I wouldn't say that either. But what they're saying is that you are in a space where your money situation will improve. It's important. It's, it's, you've had one money story and you're moving into a new one. You're the, the end of that old money story and you're moving into a new one. So we didn't have a problem, which was nice, did we? <laughs> I love it. We didn't even have a problem. And maybe you could say the first card was a little bit of a problem. But we've got the lover's card here. Now, they brought you the lover's card for a very specific reason. They brought it through because they want you to step into self-love and they're asking you to see love in everything that you do in all of your opportunities, situations, even things that are troubling and trials for you. They're asking you to look for the opportunity in it. And it's quite interesting because me and boyfriend had a bit of an argument this morning and he um, he he gets touchy. He, he he likes to see a situation somewhere that isn't there, and then keep repeating to me that I'm doing something wrong when I'm just living my life. And it was it, no, he's not to blame for it. It really brought something up for me that's karmic. However, what this is saying is it's like how kind are you being? How are you looking at the rest of the world? How are you looking at the people in your life? Are you blaming them for things that are actually your responsibility? Or are you taking that kind, loving aspect? You see, when we move into self-love and we recognize how our behaviors impact other people, we're able to be the lovers. We're able to be kindly, warm humans. There's something else about the lovers cards that I'm getting here as well. It's like Cupid saying to you, if you're in a partnership, you are meant to be supporting each other against the world, not being part of the problem within the world for each other. And I just want to point out, because I mentioned that stuff with me and boyfriend, we don't argue very much and he is really, really kind and good. It's just that things happen sometimes and he misconstrues things. And because he misconstrues things and he has some bias from his childhood that he thinks is particular, a particular way, he brings it to us. And I just want to point out with that, and I know why the angels have asked me to say that, and now I know why they asked me to bring it up. You know, in relationship, all relationship, especially intimate relationships, all your karmic residue and dharmic stuff comes up to be healed. So if you are having issues with your love, with your special person, or even with your family, ask yourself what it is. With family, it's in the family nine that needs to be healed. With your love, it's not their issue. It's often an issue that comes from your family and you feel wounded by the person because they brought up um, a story that existed within your familial structure and it works both ways, whichever the pair of, whichever one of you it is. And it's to love each other beyond that and to recognize that actually, oh, right, okay, fair, I get it, I get it, it's fine. I do me and you do you. But we recognize that we don't we don't create more drama in each other's lives unless it's necessary. But the angels are saying that often your relationships are your biggest teachers, so they're a little bit difficult. And we're not talking about abuse or, or trauma or not well, you know, toxic personalities. We're not talking about people who are abusive, we're not talking about that. We're talking about normal day-to-day -day good relationships that have their little everyone has upset sometimes everyone has disagreements because when you're very close to someone they're in the whole of your energy field so they're actually experiencing everything with you so it's to understand that recognize that okay and remember that yeah because by remembering that you can make your actual relationships which are all relationships not just talking about loved ones stronger and more powerful so there you go my lovelies that was your reading for monday the 12th of august if you did get this far, please, please, please do give me a thumbs up. I hate asking for it really in some ways because it's like, what? But it's how the YouTube algorithm works and I need those to keep myself going. Also, if you have not subscribed, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and stay with us. Stay with us. More's coming, more good stuff, more deliciousness and goodness that I'm bringing to you. There will be a couple of videos above, do check them out. There will be an angel uh, message, which is timeless. You can watch it whenever you want. Therefore, whenever, they're to help you, to raise you, to help to raise your frequency. And there'll probably be, it's probably on that side, I don't know, but on one of the sides, there'll probably be also the 
Fridays reading, daily reading to check out because these are all cumulative and they make a story up and take us where we're going. So everyone have a beautiful Monday. I'm sending you so much love from here in the UK. Namaste and take care. Love you all. Bye, bye, bye.